Hello and welcome back to Crime and Justice. Hi there, Astro, the Astro from Space. Hey, family, this case has me mad. I knew since 11 this man had been nasty with the girl. Sadly, do you mean to say from the age of 11? Because how old is she now? Um, how does she know? But you know what? It doesn't really matter how old she is now. If that is true, that is... Why did they not do something sooner? 14 years old. So why did they not do anything sooner? If he's been... Because I did hear him somewhere i think it's on this interview that we're going to be watching right uh that there was neighbors with him and then they moved but he stayed he kept in touch with her and i'm thinking hold on hold on and i'm thinking there was neighbors with her but then i was after that i had to stop watching because I had to do other things. But it just kept in my head, and I'm thinking, you was neighbours with her, you moved away. But he just kept in contact with her. Not with the parents, but with you. With her. Why didn't they put a, an injunction out on him? No way. Wow. Right. I only heard about this case, I think it was uh, last night. Before I fell asleep. Because <laughs> I had one of them funny moments where I just had no energy in my body. just kept, sort of like kept shutting down on me, making me sleep. It's a weird feeling when that happens. So he has a case against her at 11 years old and his wife helped him get her to... Well, she's just as bad then. Right? So we're going to watch an interview that um, was done with another YouTuber and it's... Hang on, I'll just get the credit up for this YouTuber. You may not like, some people may not like this YouTuber, but he gets, he gets the info. He does get that info. Right, so, I'm go we're going to watch this interview. Because it's with the mother, and I never remember the family, I believe. I don't know, but I know it's with the mother. And it's just some, there is another case I want to look at, but this one just, oh. You know, when something just, you watch them and within a couple of seconds, if not a couple of minutes, maybe, you think, what? Am I hearing right here? You know what I mean? Where something doesn't sound right. At least the information is out now so they can find her. Yes. But uh, if he's been grooming her, which I believe he has, do you think he would harm her? Because he's known her since the age of 11. Because I, I did hear a question on this post, on this video. Uh, because I just wanted to, because I didn't know nothing about the case at the time. I had been doing some reading upon it and little things like that. And I put a comment saying, did she, thinking perhaps she, someone she met online, right? And, um, I'm thinking, did she know the age of this man? Obviously, she did then, if she, if he was neighbours, she knew how old he was. 
She's known him since the age of 11. This is not his first time taking her. Wow. Well, they need to get an... When they get this girl back, this young girl back, they need to get an injunction out. Well, they need to have him locked up. Because it's like he's got an obsession with her then. He's got an obsession. If this has been going on from the age of 11, why haven't they put the family not done more to stop it? Huh? Why have the police not done anything to stop this? I'd, I swear to God, if I had a daughter of 11 and someone did that. I remember once someone did come on to my daughter when online once. And this was before Facebook, this was when it was MSN or whatever it was. And, uh, and I was on this other app. I can't remember what it's called now. And she told me about this person kept pestering her and lying. And how he wanted pictures or whatever. So I said, log on to my daughter. I said, just log on to your account. So she does. And this person comes online. She says, there he is, my right, okay. Move out the way. Move out the way. So she, <laughs> I'm pushing her out the way. And he kept asking for her to come on. Camera, that was it. And she wouldn't, because I would not let her go on camera. Right? And, um, so she was good that way, she didn't go on camera. And then all of a sudden, I, I, he kept going, come on camera. And I was, well, I was getting her to type, like, because she knows how to type, right? And then he said, come on camera, I really, really want to see you. So, I pushed her out the way and I hit the camera. And I said, you, spineless look. And I, I'll tell you, the air was blue. Right? He made out that he lived in, in an area close to where we lived. And he was in Birmingham and all his life. I, track, I had a friend track him down. And he was actually based... Somewhere, I'm not sure if it was the north, east, I'm not sure if it was the east or the west coast of USA. But they tracked him down. Got, right? And you know what my friend did? <laughs> Sent him, I'm not joking. Sent him that many emails and junk mail and all this lot. And he turned around to me and said, I've just sent him a whole bundle of this crap. He said, it's... Computer will go into overload and it will crack. It was a uh, crash. I um, really said, yeah, it will crash. With the amount of stuff I've just sent to him, it will crash. And it had like a bug in it as well. And but when you come on, when you come on video, I said, you are talking to my me, the mother. You're not talking to the daughter. You're not talking to my daughter. You're not even going to get a look of my daughter. And I was going ballistic on him. Oh, 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 oh. And I said, don't book me. Don't. I said, I've seen the messages you've been sending my daughter. And how you're pestering to get her photos. And how you're pestering to get her on camera. Well, now you've got me on camera. You come near my daughter. You message my daughter again. I said, I will track you down. I'll rip your head off your fucking shoulders. Right? So then I got, as I said, I got onto friends on this app I was on. And a couple of them set, literally bombarded him with all this uh, emails and junk mail and everything. And some of it had um, some malware stuff in it that would crash your computer as soon as you hit it. So as soon as... He turned on his computer, all this malware and junk mail would open up. And because it opened up automatically, and one of them had something in it like, um, I don't know, a bug, a cold, a, a virus, yeah, it crashed his computer. Right? But now, nowadays, I wouldn't do that. I, well, I would. I would. I'd still do it. Right? But I'd also tell the police. 
Yeah, but I'm going back, what? My daughter is in her 30s now, so I'm going back 20 years. So, and it was, it was happening then. And this guy was tracked back by his pinion boat to some coast, either on the east or west coast of the USA. So, why wasn't this stopped sooner? If they'd known him since he was 11, he's known her since he was 11, and they was neighbours, why? Well, we're going to watch the video and let's see what they say on the video. Shall we do that? Because they may actually answer some of these questions that we've got. As I said, this is credit to JLR Investigates um, and Magnolia. Right? And um, uh, some people may not like him. There's some things he does which I don't, and he says I don't like. But he's, he does get the information. And he does get these interviews with parents. So let's just make sure everyone can see it. And know where he's gazing. I'll watch the video. Go and tell I think uh, we are. We're going to watch it now. Because perhaps it will answer some of the questions that we've got. All right. Yes, sir. Can you, can you hear me? We can, we can hear you. Um, so we reached out to you to ask you what's going on. We were, uh, gave you an opportunity to come on and share what, what's going on with your daughter. I mean, I know this is it's two, it's about two days now since she went missing, correct? She, uh, she, she went missing uh, around 11 p.m. on Thursday night. So and, and you guys are from Hot Springs, Arkansas? Mm -hmm. So, yes, so, so, uh, Brittany, so what's going on here? Um, there's very limited, uh, media attention. I just saw one media outlet called Fark News talk about it a little bit and, uh, but not much other coverage, the flyers and everything like that. I mean, this is your daughter. What's, what happened here? So my daughter has, um, some, some mental issues. Um, that she has been getting treatment for for a numerous amount of years now. Um, some of this was caused and uh, acerbated by the person of interest due to the fact that he was um, grooming my daughter. He supplied her with a cell phone illegally by putting it into my mailbox. Um, he was telling her what clothes to wear. He was telling her he daddy, told her how nice um, her hind end felt in his hands. Oh um, he was giving her alcohol and drugs. He was caught with her two years ago at three o'clock in the morning and Garland County Sheriff's Department let him go. Oh, wow. um, and they slapped him on the wrist uh, with the contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Um, oh, so that charge that, was to do with Candace. So I saw that charge yes. on his record. So just to let everyone know, um, three years ago in 2021, Timothy Bray was charged um, and convicted of delinquency of a minor, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. And so you're saying that that had to do specifically with your daughter. Yes, it did. Wow. Yeah. So I he had that. her dressing very inappropriately. Um, like the conversations were very much sex uh, related. Um, mm -hmm. He kept telling her that he would take care of her. He would love her more than Aaron did um, to just defy them. Don't do don't do anything. They tell you he even coerced her into filing a false police report claiming out outlandish things about me and her father um which all were proven false along with any of these allegations that that his wife has been that we have abused her we have starved her um none of those things have ever happened um like i said she's been in and out of mental facilities um she has 
She has quite a few things, and, and some of it is a little uh, delusional. She has delusional tendencies. She's very, very manipulative, but she is also very naive and will do anything for attention, regardless of the consequences of, of the actions that she does. And yeah. this man preyed on on her because of the things uh, that, that I, I've mentioned. He used all of this against a, a tiny little girl, his own daughter, to lure her away. Um, and now, of course, he seems like the number one suspect because... Did I hear you right? That he got his own daughter to lure her away. Let's just go back on that a second or two. Very naive and will do anything for attention, regardless of the consequences of, of the actions that she does. And yeah. this man preyed on, on her because of the things uh, that, that I, I've mentioned. He used all of this against a, a tiny little girl, his own daughter, to lure her away. Um, and now... That is one sick. His wife helped him get her to, and his daughter, to help him get the daughter. But I, I wonder if the daughter had any say in it. I'm thinking he sold her. You mean trafficked her? Hold on, I'm just going to go and kick my cat's backside. Um, because this is just... Wow. I swear to God, that cat jumped. Stop it now. Stop it. Don't eat it now. Stop it. Right, let's continue. Of course, he seems like the number one suspect because um, my daughter has basically Stockholm Syndrome from, from the incident. She um, still wanted to seek out attention from this man and his family. And so we were instructed to remove, you know, remove her from being able to have social media. Um, she got kicked out of school uh, for, for her behavior. She, she just rebelled. Um, when we got her treatment, we got her home. We thought all was going well. Uh, we started noticing a similar, similar behavior to what she had been doing before when she was talking with him. We found a cell phone where she was talking with what they made look like his daughter, but from the languages that we saw, it was clearly an adult male because it was the same type of conversations that I know for a fact he was having with her two years ago because I caught them on the cell phone and I took the phone from her and I talked to him myself. So I know it was him talking to her. It's not just I'm wondering and assuming, you know, that, that it was his daughter. I know for a fact that he was using his daughter to get to my daughter. Um, I was told at the time that even his own niece didn't want to be near him because he tried to do things to her as well. That's what I think. Oh, God. That's what I was thinking with his daughter. I think he was using his daughter to get to her. And being as it was his daughter, I suppose she had no say. You know what I mean? It was, you do this, else. Or else. This bloke needs locking up. He isn't safe. He's fixate, fixate, fixated on this young girl. And this girl, as you put it, um, Astro from Space, is sadly hooked. Uh... Oh, the mum. The mum is a different story.
So he used to do the phone calls, messages, sexual convos with his daughter with his daughter's phone. So No, I think the f him hang his wife should be locked up. And I think his daughter needs help. His daughter needs help. Right. How do we know he wasn't S.A. his daughter? You know what I mean? Oh my god. No way. Oh god. Um so, so we thought so we got away from all that. There was supposed to be a restraining order. Um but we, we did not receive we didn't receive the, the type of help or support from the local authorities that we thought a, a child should be getting in a situation like that. It was more just a, a brush off the shoulder. So to him, it really didn't seem like he got punished for what he did. Um, there has been things circulating, um, insinuating that she is with a boy, but all we have found is fake profiles and the person that had brought these profiles up happened to be this person of interest's wife. Um, who has been slandering and accusing us of abuse and of everything under the sun since we posted that she was missing. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really upset. Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, here, here's your way you can express how you feel. And I, I, I can't imagine what you're going through, Brittany. Um, just to remind the viewers, um, this man that is a person of interest that might have your 14-year-old daughter, how old is Timothy? He's in his 40s. In his 40s. Now, is there any warrants or anything out for his arrest right now? I talked to the It came out whenever we reported her missing <clears throat> this morning. <clears throat> Yesterday morning. Was it? Okay, I'm sorry. My days are, are all colliding together. Um, yesterday morning, and he told me that it had been transferred to the Crimes Against Children Division, um, and that someone from there would reach out to me. I have yet to hear from them. Uh, his name has not been cleared by the Garland County Sh Sheriff's Department. They have not updated their BOLO information. He is still a person of interest. We have no idea where she is. Um, they are trying to claim that she's a 200-mile round trip from, from our home. Um, but we're not really buying that. It seems more like a diversion from all of the the research and digging in that we have done, plus our, our family friends have done. We have reached out to other resources, such as, you know, like computer technicians and um, law enforcement officers. I don't think the law enforcement have helped at all this case, no. For it to be going on for four years, three or four years. You know what I mean? It's like that first one where we got delinquency of a minor. There's another case where... Do you remember Audrey Cunningham? That case that young girl got murdered that by that piece of SHIT. If it had been charged the first time, right, with what with what it should have been done, but they pleaded him down to um to this a delinquency of a mine of some other minor. So it was like a tap on the hand and off you go. If he'd have been charged the full charge, then he would not have been around to be uh, he would not have been anywhere near uh, Audrey Cunningham or anything like that. He'd have been locked up. Oh, don't even get me on my DeSoto. I've got, if you haven't already, go to, after here, go and watch my three videos I've done on the interview, the parents, 
Stephen Stone's parents done with the police. That is the best interview I have seen out of them, out of them all. So, but that Aubrey, I'm, I was looking up on that Aubrey one and there's still nothing coming up on that now. So I don't know what's happening with that case. I know he's been charged, but we don't, I haven't heard any, I can't find anything on court cases. Thank you, Astro from Space. But, um, yeah, go and watch those three after this. It's about, they are so... And I split it into three videos because it's about an hour and something long, the interview. So I'll try to keep to about 40, 45 minutes a video so that you're not sitting there for like an hour plus in one go. You can watch one, one day and never, and never. Anyway, let's continue because this, uh, my blog is boiling already. I'm only nine minutes into this. You name it, we have reached out and tried to speak with, with anyone that could possibly just try to find find where she is and find out if she's okay. So this happened two nights ago, Brittany, uh, around 11 p.m., right? 11 p.m.? It says the flyer said she vanished on the 22nd around 11 p.m.? Yes. Thank you for that, Astro. How did you know she was went missing? Like, was she like not in her bedroom when you like looked and seen? When did you so, discover she went? She came to the room, um, our room, like if she did every single night and did the "I love you," um, you know, going to bed. I, I saw her go into her room, what she was wearing and everything. Turn her fan on, turn her light off, and I heard her get in her bed. Well, I had had a um, an automo uh, automobile incident that day, earlier that day, and I hit my head very hard. I had a mild concussion. So I I passed out right after that. I shot up out of bed because, I don't know, somehow my... So oh, she, she vanished. She just come Oh, no. She vanished. Bad reception. It's very oh, bad, maybe probably. She She'll be back in a second. But uh, folks, we're talking about the case of 14-year-old Candace Cantrell. And uh, she vanished two nights ago around uh, 11 p.m. We're talking with her mom. There's a uh, person of interest in this case, possibly a groomer, uh, you know, someone that lured her out of the house or maybe even took her out of the house. Timothy Bure. Uh, Candace is described as four feet tall, uh, 410, 410. Weighing 105 pounds, she's 14 years old, blonde hair, or uh, blue eyes, blonde, strawberry hair. And uh, the Garland County are... Please, if anyone, when you, if anyone watches this on replay, which I know they do, can you please share the highlight of this video? This young girl's face needs to be everywhere. This information needs to be everywhere. Right, this guy, Timothy Burr, and his wife needs to be locked up. His daughter, I feel so sorry for her. Right? Because she has no say in what they, what they tell her to do. She really doesn't. So please... Give this video a like, share it everywhere on your Facebook pages. I can't get on my Facebook page at the moment. I'm going to have to sort the paperwork out tomorrow and sort this out. Anyway, so um, share it everywhere on Twitter, on your Facebook page, everywhere. Arkansas Sheriff's Department is investigating this matter. Uh, she needs to be found, folks. Uh, we go. We got her mom back. I know the reception is a little bit bad. Um, welcome back, uh, Brittany. Thanks for coming back. So I wanted to okay, ask yeah, you some questions. Yeah, oh, we know okay. that. That's okay. <laughs> we we know. We spend time in Arkansas, so we know all about the service there. We were just in Hot Springs in April, actually. Um, 
So I wanted to just ask, so that night, so 11 p.m. is when they're saying she went missing. So did you actually see her leave or did you just not notice her? You no, know, um, I have security cameras. Um, I write, I write work in line German Shepherds uh, for like military purposes and, and law enforcement. Mm -hmm. uh, and the camera for the backyard got disabled. Um, and she went out the bathroom window onto one of the dog houses and into the woods. Wow. Oh, oh no, she broke off again. Yeah, it's bad reception, folks. We apologize for that. We're trying to get as much information as possible to bring a public awareness uh, to her. She'll be back, but she's saying she went out a window into the woods. It's almost like she ran away, but ran away with this guy, most likely this Timothy Bure and um, this Bure, 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 B-U-R-E. Now this Timothy guy, and we showed his photo. Um, yeah, let me show that again. Um, here it is. And I have it right here. This yeah. guy right here. So this guy that you see on the right, ladies and gentlemen, he is a person of interest. And... Um, Candace could be with her, with him. Candace could be with him somewhere, maybe in Malvern, Arkansas. I, I was looking on the criminal docket, and he also has ties in the Royal Arkansas area. Uh, this guy has arrests in the past for burglary. Um, as you uh, just heard, he was charged before a little bit uh, before with stuff centered around Candace. It seems like he was smuggling her a phone, and he's it's just very scary, folks. Um, yeah. um, it is concerning. So, yeah. And one thing that I noticed is, um, I was kind of looking into this a little bit on Facebook today and I saw that, um, Candace's dad had posted his picture, Bray's <laughs> picture and his wife jumped in the comments and she's like, um, bashing the parents and just, it, it's crazy. She's, defending this man and saying he was never involved with kids but he has this charge that we know about so contributing yeah, to the delinquency of a minor yeah and who else do we know who is defending the person who s-i'd her daughter for years she's defending that person Why? Yeah. And now we find out it's about her. Here we go. Yeah. Um, I was kind of filling them in a little bit on the um, Facebook stuff. So basically what I gathered was you were neighbors with him at one time. Is that right? And, and you did you move away or did he move yes. away? We moved to a completely other side of that frame. Okay. So you moved away about two years ago? Is that right? Yeah. So, so since you moved, he's still been trying to get in contact with her and he's still been communicating oh, with it's her. It's like an obsession. Even though he's married. Oh yeah. And she doesn't care. That's like I had, I had the said dream shine and conversation and she just kept, Oh no. Oh no. She warned him when the cops were looking for him. The last time he had my daughter, she called him and warned him that they were looking for him, that he needed to meet them at the gas station and give her back. I mean, is is this a, is he trying to, like, and I don't want to be graphing. I don't want to, I want to say, you know, I don't want to be offensive or anything. Is he grooming her? Is he, does he yes. feel like he's a grooming? Yes. <sighs> so scary. So, so scary. Now, has uh, you. I was definitely been grooming her. Like. Uh, what was it they said? Um, blah, blah, blah. By give, give, giving her a phone, giving her alcohol, giving her drugs, smokes, you name it. So, and I'm from the UK, and there's a big case a few years back of a grooming gang in. Two areas, actually, two areas. One was in Manchester and one was somewhere else. And 
it started where they go to these kebab houses, yeah, and they go to the young girls. Oh, you can have that for nothing, right? And then they go, do you want to sit in the back and eat the food? Yeah, yeah. So they go and sit in the back and they give them alcohol and they give them cigarettes and all this stuff. Then after a while, they go, well, we've given you all this. We want some at back now. And they was hooked. That was it. They couldn't get out of it. And they was transporting them from across different county lines. Like you have state lines in the USA. We have county lines. They was taking them from one city to another city, from one town from, to another town. And everything. And they phone them. And say, we want you here at this time. And if the parents said anything, they threaten the parents with harm. They threaten their other children with harm. And yet the police was doing nothing. Then eventually it came to a point where they had to. They had to act. Why? Because it was becoming more... A certain person we know was putting it out in the news. Where mainstream media here wasn't reporting on it, he did. And he was out there reporting on it daily. Every time it went to court, he'd be out by the courts. And uh, so eventually they did deal with it. But he was, this guy has been grooming her. That's why. It's not that she's, um, she loves him. She don't know what love is. It's at the point now where it's got to, like I said, well, I've gave you this phone, I've gave you alcohol, I've done this for you and whatever. You now it's payback time. Yeah? And if she says no, well, I'll harm your family. you got nieces, you got nephews, you know what I mean? That's how people like that work. And so this young girl is probably is trapped. She probably don't want to go, but she knows that she don't go. Harm could come to her family. You know where he lives. You know where he lives, like his current address, because they're saying near Mount um, Albert, possibly. That is what the daughter had yeah. told my daughter. From public record, it appears he is in Royal, but has ties yes. to Malvern and, and some other locations. Um, the, the complexity of what has happened was not done by a child, was not done by two children. Two children could not, not pull this off for this long without an adult Right, I don't know if they had videos of the girls, but I do know, like, the parents would say, when they intervened, the parents would say, they'd come back and say, get the feck out of the way, you stop this, we will kill you, we will do this, we will do that. The p families were going to the police, but the police was doing nothing. It felt like... This is why you know, we have a problem in the UK and I have to be very careful what I say because I could get a knock on the door. So the girls were 13 and 14 right from the case you were talking about for a few years. Yeah, they were. And there's more than two girls. There's a load of girls, but a, lo a lot of them... Um, they didn't think would make good witnesses, right? So they only went with certain cases, the ones they knew they could build a case on. But there's a lot of errors. Well, they did get sent to prison. Oh, a whole gang of them got sent to prison. Oh, yeah. Actually, because our prisons are so over full now, a few weeks ago, I believe, one of those guys, one of the ringleaders of that group, has been released. Yeah. 
been released from what I heard and read. So they did get sent to prison, but and I think they should. I don't think they should have even been sent to prison. I think they should have been put on a fucking plane, passports took off them. I'm a register at the uh, customs, so anyone coming through, your fingerprints are taken. Bro, now you you're back out, mate, right? And get them blocked from entering the country. That why should we pay for them? To sit in our prisons when they've done that to our girls. Right, but I have to be very careful. So, I... yeah, one of them is out. I'll try, I'll try and find the information and um, try and put it over in a video which isn't going to get me locked up, okay? <laughs> Honestly, got there's no democracy over here at the moment. You say anything about a certain religion, I could be locked up. Okay. So, um, yeah. So you're th thinking he, he, you're saying that she went out the window, went into the woods, and you think that he or 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 maybe his girl or his wife that. Lizzo or them together came and picked her picked her up. Yes, that's what I that's what I think. Yeah. Do you guys live out in like a neighborhood? Do you guys live in the rural areas? Um, we live out past Fountain Lake School. I'm not sure if you know where that is. It's kind of, it's not in town. It's it's in the county, but it's it's not in town. It's uh, it backs up to the national forest. Our property, our backyard, literally is like goes to the national forest. Um, we're not out in the middle of town. We have a six-foot privacy fence with 11 German Shepherds in, in our yard. So the only way he could get to her was to lure her out of our property. It's and evil. from the fact, the fact that she didn't take anything, a 14-year-old girl did not take makeup, clothing, personal hygiene items, nothing, shoes. She took nothing with her. She did not expect to run away. She expected to do what they had done before. He was getting her to leave the house, and then he would sneak her back in before we woke up for work. How I, far is I Malvern? I know that's what she thought was going to happen, and how that's not what happened. How far is Royal uh, Malvern area from your location? About 30, 35 minutes. But I would, yeah, he wouldn't all, have her at his Hang on, let's just go back a few a minutes. Girl did not take makeup, clothing, personal hygiene items, nothing. Shoes. She took nothing with her. She did not expect to run away. She expected to do what they had done before. He was getting her to leave the house, and then he would sneak her back in before we woke up for work. Right, so she's left thinking she was going to come back. Yeah, but not this night. Now, I wonder why. I wonder why not this night. Did something go wrong? Right, did something go wrong? How and far I, is I Malvern? I know that's what she thought was going to happen, and how that's not what happened. How far is Royal uh, Malvern area from your location? About 30, 35 minutes. But I would, yeah, he wouldn't have her at his home. Uh, the so, last time, he was going to take her and put her in a tent in the woods somewhere. Whoa. So yeah. let me see. Yeah. Uh, now, no, now, did, I don't know if I missed this or not, but did she have her phone with her? She does not have a phone um, because she was being a, uh, a a safety risk to herself. Um, after after all of this went down with him the first time, she has um, got this hunger for attention um, in, in that aspect. 
So she was on um, before, like Omegle and porn, porn places, and they were talking about these scenes back and forth and stuff like that. So we were advised by DHS to remove those items, Re remove those items that sh she is not um, capable of making a decision for herself when it comes to a safety aspect. Right. So we did that. I don't want my daughter hurt ever. I, I would not ever let anyone lay a hand on my daughter. So, and so I did what I thought I was supposed to. I, I took the things away. She's been homeschooled on a level that way beyond what she was being able to do in school because she could not focus at all. Um, so, no I mean, she would go, we would take her out, out and explore the, the lake. And downtown. I mean, it's not like she was sheltered. But you say she was hooked on you and prostituting herself online. I don't think she was hooked on him like that. I think he was making her do it. This is what I say. When they groom a child, right, they're all nice and nice to them, buying them this, giving them that, right? Telling them, look, you can talk to me about anything. I'm here if you want to talk. If you're having a bad day, I'm here for you. Yeah? All like that. And all of a sudden, click. I've done all this for you. Now you do this. You Now you now it's payback time. So if she was doing that online, it was because he's not because she wanted to. I really don't think that. It's because he had control of her. As I said, the threat to the family could come into it. If you don't do this, I'll arm your family. If you don't do this, I'll kill your mum. If you don't do this, I'll hurt your nieces. I'll hurt your nephews. You know what I mean? But what makes worries me is how many other children is he doing this to? And how many are involved is it just him and his wife or are there others involved that's what i'm thinking is there more than just him and his wife involved uh, because if he's selling her out if he's trafficking her out then there's got to be a group of people involved you know what i mean it's not just going to be him and his wife. There's going to be all those people he's trafficked to make to. Everything. So I don't think... I I can't believe a young girl would do this winningly. She's immature. Right? She doesn't know what she's doing. She feel, at first she was getting all this attention. She liked the attention she was getting. But then, boom. It suddenly turns. Yes, that's what I mean. She was young, 11, when it first started, very young, right? A cover-up by who, though? By the police? Because I think this goes a bit deeper than just him, him and his wife. And I think his daughter's being abused as well. You know what this sort of reminds me of? This case reminds me of. Do you remember that case? Uh, the the man and the woman, and the woman got sent to jail, but he got sent to jail, but he killed himself. Maxwell. Whatever her name was. And she's now in prison doing time. Jillian, Jillian Maxwell, and that piece of SHIT. Yeah, his niece, the niece said she didn't like being by him, didn't she? It said in, her, in this interview earlier. 
where he had Giselle Maxwell getting the young girls and then she get those young girls to bring other young girls and them young girls to bring other young girls and so on and so on. Well, she's just as much as involved because she was she was getting the young girls in the first place, right? And then when she got so many young girls, she was getting those young girls to bring their friends. And there's always that threat behind it. Well, if you don't, just be, be prepared. You know what I mean? Yeah, they are learning everything. So, there's too much of this going on. Oh, sure. this she wasn't, acting she on. wasn't uh, locked up as his wife has been commenting underneath um, her father's posts and such, saying that we starved her, abused her, uh, yeah. kept her sheltered. Awesome. She just wanted a life. You know, that that is that's not the truth. Brittany, looking that we, we have your daughter next to you in the background here. I mean, you guys look identical. I mean, you could just yes, tell the resemblance. I mean, you guys are right there. Um, let me ask you something. Do you know what type of vehicle he has or vehicles he's known to drive it? He has a 2017 red Jeep Compass or Cherokee, Jeep Cherokee. Right. Okay, so people keep to keep a lookout for this red Jeep Cherokee. In, uh, it, he does it would seem be to work on vehicles, so there is no telling what vehicles. Um, that he would be driving. I do know that other people have gotten kind of a deep dive into this man and his wife. And this man shows a ridiculous amount of interest on Facebook into little girls in bathing suits, along with thousands of other men. And my fear is that this man is not working alone, that this is something bigger. What did y'all just say? This man is not working alone. This is something bigger, she just said. And that's literally what I've just said. I don't think he's working alone. I think there's more in this. And I just hope that, um, yeah, I've just read that down. 2017, Red Jeep. No, he's not working alone. There's others involved. And so we need to find it. But what gets what's worrying me is the fact that she would normally he would normally bring her home. Why? But this time he hasn't. Why hasn't he brought her home? And why can't they find him? Yeah, I did deny. It's I don't know why it's I just had this feeling that this is not just him and his wife. I've just had that feeling. And as I said, I don't think his daughter has any say in this. I don't think she had any say. At the beginning, she could get, She was just impressed by him. He was buying her things. He was giving her stuff. You know what I mean? And I worry. I've got a, I've got a granddaughter who's three years old now. And I'm worried about her already. I sit there some yards before I go back and thinking, God, how can I protect, how can we protect her? And it's not just her, I've got two grandsons. They're just as vulnerable. You know what I mean? And yet, yeah, I'd have the mum and daughter brought in. But I truly think the daughter is caught up in this web. Not because she wants to, but because she had to. So, if they bring their mother and daughter in, the, the mum, the, if they say to the mother, the mum, why? Tell you what, we've got evidence here for SA against you, with you, against this young girl. You're involved in this as much as he is. So, tell us where he is, and you're going to go down. You're going to go down. Sorry, love. You're going to go down. Clink, clink. Bye-bye. 
she will squeal because she's the sort of person that I just feel like she's the sort of person that would go, hold on, I'm not going down for that piece of S-H-I-T. Wow, God, it's scary, it's scary the world we live in. And when I'm trying to talk to my son about this, or my daughter, and they go, Mom, you're over, you just worry too much, don't. See, I can't help, but help worry, especially what I do, how I look into cases and I see what's going on and everything, and how corrupt the governments are and the police are and all that lot. I cannot help but worry. See, my, friend, my, my son's okay, he does look into certain things, but my daughter, she's kind of like, puts her head in the, sta in the sand and blows. I'm, I don't want to know, no, I'm fine, I'm just going about my life, you know. <laughs> I'm going, you can't do that. You can't bury your head in the sand. This is life. This is real. You've got to think of your kids. You've got to fight for your kids. They can't, you teach your children not to kick back at school. Right? So they don't. So you have to hit back at the school. You have to stand up and fight for your kids nowadays. God. But, you know, um, this is sick. I'm not even half right through you. Because she has been gone close to 48 hours and no one has seen her. No one yeah. has seen this beautiful girl. Have, have, have you guys went over to his house? Have you guys, like, went over there and demanded um, the answers? The police advised us to uh, not go to his home. Oh, I'd be kicking the door in. Oh, I'd be kicking his door in. Um, I don't think it would end well uh, if if that happened, if confrontation started. I, I don't think. Confrontation started. I'd start it. I'd be kicking the door in straight off. I'd walk up there and that door would go straight in off its hinges. This round, I don't think that would be a good idea. I do not. I think the police need to do their job. If they can't, they need to get the FBI. Yeah. Considering that this is statutory rape, if anyone touches her, because she is a 14-year-old little... Why is this not... An Amber Alert, is it because of her age? Is it because she's 14? Is this why it's not an Amber Alert? Little girl. I feel like they need to put a fire underneath them and do something about this and actually appear to be looking. Uh, they haven't said that they've taken a dog to his home. They haven't said that they've spoke with him. Only his wife is claiming all of this. Garland County has not yeah. confirmed any of her accusations or claims. Right. I'll just do a catch-up on you. For those on replay, we are looking at, and for those who are joining, we are looking at the case of Candice Cantrell, Cantrell, who went missing on Thursday, the 22nd of August, around 11pm at night. Uh, okay. And normally, she would be back before her parents got up, but not this time. There is a person of interest. His name is Timothy Burr. He's 40 plus years old. He's been... He's been grooming this young girl since the age of 11. He was caught with this young girl when she was 11 years old, but he got off with a slap on the wrist because it, they put it down to a delinquency of a minor or something like that. So it was a slap on the wrist, even though this young girl was found half naked with him and all this, but the police let it go. Uh, he's been grooming her, he's been buying her phones, uh, giving her alcohol, giving her drugs. And we all know where that leads to. 
she does need an ambulance. They should not, I think every child under the age of 18 in the USA, and I think we should have something like that here in the UK. I think there is something like that here in the UK. Right? Uh, where every child, if it's classed as missing, a runaway, should be Amber Alert. Because they could be anywhere. Anywhere. So, anyway, so as I said, we're talking about Candice Cantrell. This is her mother talking about it and how it's been going on. And we will carry on with the interview. Do you communicate regularly now with Garland County Sheriff's? Are you I'm communicating? on a text message level. Would you like to be on a phone level? Like as far as communicating, um, like verbal? I would. Uh, the cop, the police officer um, that I wish could stay involved in this, but he had to hand it over to the um, the the children's crime, you know, against children division. Um, and I have not heard from them. He said that he sent in information um, to have them contact me, but I have not heard from them at all. This charge no Amber Alert is, has been issued, which should blow my mind. An Amber Alert has been issued. An Amber Alert no. has been issued. No. No. Why? They have Why? not. This, this clearly seems like an Amber Alert level type of situation. This Absolutely. is a dire situation. A 14-year-old would not leave her house to run away with not even her shoes. Like, that's not how a 14-year-old operates. So you're... She doesn't, have any way to communicate. she doesn't have any way to communicate either. Uh, the only way is if he, he slipped her another phone. Yeah, yeah. Which you don't have the, the number to, obviously. So No, and these um, profiles that his wife has posted showing her with some, some boy recently, only her, his wife, has been the one to find these. And only the person that has been defending my daughter and us against this woman is the person blocked from that profile. If this was my daughter and she didn't want us to find her, me, her aunt, her father would not be able to see these profiles. Like, I don't understand how, how, how dumb these people think that, that we are. Like, I know my daughter i know her habits i, I know what she does and mm -hmm. that, that's not her that is not her profile um if you look up those images there's no origination from the images no so they're setting up f fake profiles of, of her very good after that night she became so hot so hot tail the mom took her out of the school took the phone the paid for who brought her phone and the bad guy wife helps him get the daughter. Yeah. Her parents her mother is doing everything she can and they are doing just giving it her all back. No location tags against them. It's like their screenshot that someone else put on there. And then you have people, uh, two different profiles with two different names, but the same same faces in the pictures, but they're supposedly two different people. And then you have one that's all the way in Michigan. And the, like, my daughter doesn't know anyone in Michigan. My daughter sure as heck does not know anybody in Clarksville or Lamar, Arkansas. Like I said, that is over 100 miles from our home. Wow. So I, I, don't, I, I don't know. So, Brittany, I'm looking been at trying this. to get um, someone with canines that have been trained in tracking human scents to see if we can find how she went through the woods, to see if then we can narrow down and start hitting people. I know someone. I know someone who's got canines, who tracks, who is trying to find drugs, prescribed drugs, medication, and all that law. Uh, is trying to find the a body. And she's got one, well, she's got two dogs. I like the name of the one dog she's got. She's called 
is called Ara. And someone asked her, what, what, where did you get the name Ara from? Do you know what it stands for? Armed, ready. Armed, ready to attack. I thought, Christ, if I get a dog, I'm going to call it Ara. Armed, ready to attack. House and then say, do you have security cameras? Did you see this vehicle at this time? Um, so far, we haven't had anybody um, offer those services or, or approach us with those services. We have um, requested um, openly on Facebook uh, anyone in, that would possibly be willing to bring their dog. I'll see if I can. I'm not on Facebook at the moment because I'm having problems. Because apparently I posted some of that went against their guidelines. But I don't know what because I'm hardly ever on there. Right? But I think I've got her on Twitter. So I'll send her a message to see if she could get in touch with them. Uh, I'll send her the message saying get in touch with JLR. He'd have their information. You know what I mean? Folks, um, and do this for us to at least give us some direction to to try to track what happened. Um, and so, unfortunately, we haven't had that happen yet. So let me ask, let's go back to Timothy a minute. And I'm reading this criminal charge that he had contributing to the delinquency of a minor. And you're saying that centered around your daughter. It looks like it was from 2021, correct? Mm -hmm. And so yeah. your daughter at that time was three years younger than she is now, right? She's 11. Mm -hmm. And he's what, in his early 40s then? 40 around that time? Thank you. He's 39. He was. And what what did he get? What was his sentence for that? It, probation? Yeah, twelve months of supervised probation. Not put on a, a sex offender list. Nothing like that. So we're talking. They were supposed to give a. They were supposed to put a restraining order against him. They didn't do that either. So more or less, this is a continuous victimization of your own daughter for well over three years. Absolutely. Unbelievable, and, and 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 authorities can't do couldn't nothing about it, or you know, prevent this guy from um, coming back. And and I, this is sometimes I feel this town does things that benefit its tourism income more than it does the safety of its residents. Interesting, because we were there, me and Magnolia. Yeah, me and Magnolia were there for the eclipse. You know, and uh, there was a lot. A lot of tourism and a lot of people there coming into town for the eclipse and everything like that. Yes, I've just found her. The K9 captain. She goes under the name. She's in the army. What does it say about her? Going? It says, nationally certified K9 hangar. Mother of K9s, U.S. Army. Right? So she did, still works for the U.S. Army, but she does this canine. She's got these two dogs. Brilliant they are. I love them. I'll message her afterwards. No, I'm not. I'm not thinking that, as Astro. I'm not. And you don't want to know where I'm, what I'm thinking. Because... That could be a reason, but I don't think that is the only reason she's not back, if you know where I'm coming from. It looked like a touristy area. Um, oh, absolutely. That's, that's her main source of income is tourism. Yeah. So summertime is hopping all the time in hot springs. It's... It's a very busy, very congested. It really wasn't. And, when we and went, it is also jam packed with crime that no one hears about. It's, yeah, it is absolutely. I mean, it's like any tourist town that you go to. Um, it's, it's very congested. There's always a lot of traffic downtown. There's like always something going on. There's a casino there, there's a racetrack there. 
Um, there's a lake, there's all kinds of things. So it's, it's very heavily populated during the summer, especially. So you, um, you think there's a theory that they might not want to put this out there that much because it scares people off in a sense, but this, could that be a possibility? From what, seen, from what we've seen in the past, I do feel that certain powers that be, um, feel that way. Not everyone. I'm not saying everyone. I'm saying that there are are, are select ones that, that that it seems like the that are pulling the strings that sometimes say, you know, this is going to hurt us. We we shouldn't we shouldn't publicize this too much. So you're dead set. I think that you're dead set that Timothy uh, has something to do with this. She didn't run off with somebody else. Like just run off with another juvenile or something. You're dead set that Timothy has his fingerprints on the situation. Yeah. Do you think that um, his daughter was there that night when she left? You mentioned that he had used his own daughter to lure her over there before. Um, was she involved that night? Did, do you know if, if maybe your daughter met his daughter when she left the house? Uh, this this time or last time? Either. This time. This well, time. <laughs> So this time, I don't know that she met, I don't know who she met, but I do know that if, if he or he had his daughter ask her to come out of that house, she'd do it. Mm. It wouldn't how matter. Is, she how, would, old she would do it. how old is his daughter? I think she's 16. I think she's 16, 16 now. So um, does this Timothy guy, I saw his wife on Facebook. Does he is he active on Facebook? Like he has hasn't any said anything. He's just had his wife fighting his battle for him. But his wife said something about Magnolia. Did his wife said you could come here and search all you want, kind of deal? Like, didn't she say things like that? Come here, we got nothing to hide. Yeah, because he wouldn't take yeah. her there again because that's where he so, was taking her the first time and got caught. Her posts are absolutely wild. Um, just to let y'all know. So this is, um, I'll show you, I don't know if this shows up, my light's in the way, but this is, um, her dad posted, Candace's dad posted this of the person of interest. And in the replies, I was looking in the replies and I see Angela Bure um, saying, take this post down. We have already talked to Garland County Sheriff's Department. They're coming out to our house to search and everything. It's not our fault. You can't keep up with your child. Like, these are the things that this woman is saying on Facebook. It's completely insane. Um, and, you know, she's denying that that Timothy ever did anything with a child. And people in the comments were calling them out and calling her out because he most certainly yeah. has a record of he had the record from three years ago contributing to delinquency of a minor three years ago so um you know that's, that's i mean and these people on. have went on these people have went on his facebook and seen where he's liking these pages of these girls these little bitty girls in compromising positions and outfits and since people have called him out of course he started removing things but luckily these people took screenshots um mm -hmm. so they are keeping up with him and and they started it from the very beginning. Um, so it's hard to deny that you do things like that when you are liking little girls' photos and bathing suits and leotards. Mm -hmm. Um Brittany, if Timothy is listening, what what do you have to say to him if he's listening or uh his wife or anyone affiliated with him? How can you wake up every day and live with yourself? doing this to a little girl where where is my daughter what did you do to her like why would you do this again like you are ruining a little girl's life and an entire family for what for your little giggles to get your rocks off what kind of monster are you and you have three kids what have you done to them Go for it, Mom. They have three kids, and the daughter that was luring her out is 16 now. Have you ever thought 
that his daughter's over the age limit that he likes and is now using her to get other young girls because these people have ages don't they they like certain ages so perhaps what she's how old is she she's 14 she might be getting to the point where um he, she's too old. She's getting too old now. And he can't just dump her, can he? Because she's going to scream, Hold oh, on. Why don't you want me no more? Oh, and then it's, she's going to realise what's happening, been happening, and she's going to report it. But I think I don't... His daughter's too old for Candice. Hmm... I think his daughter is, I don't know how old his other children are. Try and just surprise me. Timothy. See, it's not giving me much when I print, type his name in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't give you nothing on this man. See, I'm, I'm limited to what sites I can get on because of where I am. A lot of sites I click on, it's no access because I'm not in the, I'm out of the region, I'm out of the area. That's why I need a VPN. I have to look into how much a VPN is each month. Because then I could put my IP address somewhere in the United States, in whatever state I wanted it to be, and then I'll be able to get more information. So, let's continue. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. And your wife, Angela, you should be ashamed of yourself for supporting a man who does these things. That's not me. That's not me. Things to children and enjoys looking at little girls the way he looks at little girls. And you knew what he was doing to my daughter the first time. So I know you know what is going on this time. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been the person that hosted that uh Facebook profiles showing that, oh, she's with some other dude. 200, 200 miles round trip. A, a juvenile made a 200 mile round trip with no adult help. There's no way. There's no way. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Brittany. Give me my daughter back and go rot in prison where you deserve to be. Yeah. Right, well, if you had, if you were going to go search for her, uh, like physically search and have people come out, because we have a lot of people in our chat that are asking how they can help. Um, several people are from Hot Springs and they've asked how they can help. So if you're going to do any searching for her, where would you look? Would you be looking in the area of Malvern where his, where his house is or where do you think um, we did be? notice that the property we Google Earth, um, the property that pops up in Royal, and it looks like um, kind of just like a little shack that backs up to a very large plot of woods. And considering that he was going to put her in a tent in the woods last time, that would probably be my first place to search. So um, Royal, you said? Yeah, um, I'm, I haven't got any more information about locations in Malvern exactly to search for. Um, I do know the location of her parents' house, which would probably be a secondary um, place to look. 
But if he has help doing these things, there's no telling where they have hid her due to the amount of eyes that are looking for her. Yeah. Because if she was... We see, we see in the same words. I've just said it myself. Right. We need to get this out everywhere. Everyone needs to know about... It's like to make this, this child too hot. She's too hot to handle. But by doing that... Can make things worse if you see what I mean. She's too hot. We can't use her no more, but we can't let her go. So it's just it's a, a trap. It's it's like a rock between whatever it is. What's that saying? I can't think. But. We want to get a name and a picture out there, but if you do it, it could cause problems down the road where the people, if they have got her, are thinking, she's too hot now. We can't, we can't take her anywhere. We can't traffic her anywhere. We can't do nothing now. And then it could, and we can't let her go. It was in Clarksville with a boy. His parents clearly would have seen that this girl is missing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the entire town has had to have seen that she is missing. So there's there's no way that what uh, that these other people are just as bad monsters as, as this man is. Like I feel like blame is being shifted just to kind of kind of say, look over here while I do what I do over here, um, just to throw us off of a trail. If he is innocent this time. Okay. Okay. But if he's not, I feel like they need to do something. The FBI, anybody, I don't care what enforcement it is. I feel like they need to step up, talk to me, coordinate searches. Uh, I mean, wherever we have to walk through, whatever mountain I have to climb, I feel like that should be offered. She is 14 years old and she has things wrong with her mentally that make her a, a, a danger to herself. Mm -hmm. and, and now all these hours have gone by. I can't even think what could have possibly happened in the amount of hours she's been gone. She didn't have clothes. She didn't have a toothbrush. She didn't have anything. Mm hmm. Has the are the police currently doing searches on the ground or what type of searches have they done so far? Um, I haven't heard of them doing any searches. We had people come from Mississippi um, to come help us walk the woods. But unfortunately, like I said, we we haven't been able to get uh, any kind of a, a tracking dog that has been trained to track human scent because the clothes she was wearing when I saw her go to bed not what she left in because they were on her bed i just want to remind the viewers that the garland county sheriff has also put out timothy's photo as a person of interest like they're they're looking correct right that i i seen the garland county sheriff's office because i know some people in the chat were saying well how do you know he's involved the garland county sheriff's also put out his photo with your daughters correct yeah i didn't i didn't bring his name up Garland County Sheriff's Department looked at what happened last time and said, this man is a person of interest. That was not me. Yeah. Yes, you might have cut off it, with the um, no. reception. Garland County has said, this man is possibly who who took her. Yeah. She wouldn't yeah, run that's... away. My daughter has been abducted. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she's not going away. Yeah. What does Timothy do for a living and or his wife? Do you know what the occupations they have? She used to work at a car wash and he was just, uh, he just sat at home and said that he was a mechanic, but I never really seen him do anything but watch the girls play. Hmm. Mm. And again, what so kind of car does he have? What kind of car? Uh, Jeep Cherokee. Red Jeep. Jeep okay. Red Jeep. 
2017 <laughs> red Jeep Cherokee for people that were asking in the chat. Um, if your daughter Candace is listening, what would you like to say? Come home. Find a way to tell me where you are and I will come get you. Me and your dad will move mountains. Just come home. Please. Just come home. So I'm so sorry you're going through this. Yeah, I saw the I saw the bulletin that the Garland County Sheriff's. I saw your uh, you know, all of the social media pleading for her return. I can't imagine what you're going through. And uh, we will do our best to bring public awareness to this case. And hopefully we have at this point. Maybe you could get some more media, local media, because I only saw like a, a little bit of media. Uh, I reached out to Channel Seven News um, to see if they would they would do a story. Um, and the person I talked to said he was going to start that story immediately. Um, that was earlier today. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet. Of course, the, the 10 o'clock news hasn't came on, so I don't know if, if they're going to put anything in it there. They haven't contacted me again to get, you know, like you have done, to, to have me speak. Um, but other well, than that, we, they've just shared the poster. Why, yeah, that's actually why we wanted to um, ask you on, because we noticed that there was a lack of media coverage. I mean, that was the first thing I noticed. Um, when I, I saw the flyer, I think I saw the flyer. Um, I follow a girl on, on Twitter named Rose and I saw the flyer there, I think. And um, I started looking into it myself and I noticed that there were no news reports at all. And there's only one article, but it has very, very little information. So um, that's why we wanted to have you come on so that you could at least get some traction. You can get some attention out there, um, bring awareness, you know, because a lot. Well, I'm on this case now as well. And as I said, I'll try and get, I'll get into, I'll send a message, a message to the K9 captain about this case. Right, and um, just letting it to know to if she could help in any way, right, with the woods at the back of their house. And she does it all for free. She doesn't do it for any charge, all for free. And um, I'll tell her to get in touch with JLR because he's had the parents' contact details. A lot of people, if if the local media is not reporting it, people just don't know. You know, right. people just have no idea. And so, um, you know, she could be anywhere in Hot Springs. She could be anywhere in that area. And so the biggest thing that you need is coverage of the case um, so people know about it and they can share it. And so hopefully um, we'll get a lot more coverage for you for that um and and hopefully you can um do some more searches and i know that there's people willing to help and reach out so um britney's on facebook if anyone there is local and wants to help and wants to help with the search um it, you know this is a a fairly rural area i mean hot springs is is a very busy town it's a touristy town but once you get out of that's the town of hot springs this is really a rural area so there's yeah. going to be a lot of places to search probably a lot of forests uh trees and like you said he has this weird thing about a tent in a wood in the woods um and so when you're talking about land like that you need organization and you need people doing grid searches and things like that so so Brittany, let me um so so she wasn't on um your daughter wasn't on social media. She didn't have a phone. She wasn't on a computer. Did she go on social media? No social media accounts? No. Homeschool, All right? All the social media that she had prior had been deactivated and removed. And um, you said she, she was had a school laptop that was monitored. Anything that was done on her laptop came directly to my cell phone. Um, I could see any website she went to, any email that was sent. Um, that was the only thing that she had access to from us. Um, and like I said last time, he put her a mail, he put a phone in the mailbox, brand new, in a box. Told her to burn the box and hide the phone. Wow. Um. And you said she was homeschooled. She's she's homeschooled. 
Yes, she has been homeschooled um, due, due to behavioral issues stemming um, from from what happened the last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does she have um, a lot of friends? Like, is, uh, did you notify all her friends to say, like, if, if she contacts any of her friends or anything to contact you or does she have friends? Um, the only friends that she had, she had met at mental facilities. The friends that she had made when she was in public school, she got in trouble. So they kind of just faded away. Um, we were trying to get her in like local and the library has, you know, these for homeschooled kids, they every, every day of the week, they have these different uh, programs that they do for the kids. Um, we were trying to get her in with that. Uh, we were trying to get her, her defiance um, a little more under control. Um, but unfortunately, that that never happened. Uh, I don't know how he got so deep in her head. I don't know. I don't know what book you read to be able to do that to a child. I, I wouldn't know. That's that's not what I do. Um, but he's good at it. I always got into her head, but she won't say that. She won't say, well, I've got to go, Mom. She's being defiant because he's got into her head because she knows what he's told her he will do if she don't turn up. So if she said to her mum, I've got to go, mum, because if you don't, it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt my niece or my nephew or anyone else in the family. It's going to hurt you. Right? So it's like that's why she's going, but she's not telling. She's being defiant because one way she probably feels she wants to tell him. But in another way, she knows if she tells them, it's just going to, the parents are just going to go ballistic. You know what I mean? And she's she's probably worried about what the parents would do. So she's been defiant by saying, no, I'm going. I, you can't stop me, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go out. You know what I mean? Are you well, saying that it's possible, like, she's in love with him? Yes. Is, that, is that a possibility? No. Do you think so? No, I don't. Interesting. She's in love with the attention. No, I mean, this has been going on at least three years and probably longer, right? So we're talking about since she was 11 years old. Um, and it unfortunately, it doesn't take much to um, form a bond with a, with a child of that age. Um, anyone who's been through that type of abuse at that age knows exactly what that's like. Um, and they use words, um, it's, it's grooming. It's what we call grooming. Yeah, he, he definitely told, he he never told really her that. that he would love her more than we ever would. Right. Wow. I saw that personally from a text message from him after he asked her what she was wearing. Hmm. Mm hmm well, hopefully, um, hopefully you get maybe like the police to give out a statement or the sheriffs at least give out a public statement, because if they give out a public statement with you there or your family there, that might get the ball rolling a little bit about media, because then they'll have something to report on, you know, and uh, that yeah. might help. So, um, you know, we'll we'll see what we can do on our end by, you know, I'll, I'll shoot out to the county sheriff there and see, you know, I'll, I'll shoot him some uh, messages and see what they have to say about the situation and stuff like that. Uh, we'll definitely do a follow up and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully she comes in tonight, you know, hopefully she walks through your door tonight and she's found safe and, uh, you know, whoever's responsible can be brought to justice. And, uh, you know, we're praying, uh, Magnolia, anything else you would like to add? Yeah, I just, I want to know, um, Timothy, this Timothy, um, so since Thursday night, have you heard from him? Has anyone talked to him? Has he? No, there is nobody seen her. Nobody's heard from her. The only thing that popped up today was his wife posting this Facebook profile. That was it. Um, and we yeah. dug real deep into that profile. So, but he's, 
so she's she's out there running her mouth on Facebook, but he's not he's nowhere to be found. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I was wondering because we were wondering earlier, like, is he at home? Where is he at? What's he doing? Um, and I I looked up his I looked up his um, information and I see that he's lived in many many different places. Are you concerned at all that he could have taken her to Mississippi? Yes, I'm concerned. Uh, I mean, there's been more than enough time to have moved her out of this state. Which would definitely trigger the feds at that point, you know, over interstate yeah. lines. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, would... I mean, they say the, the first 48 hours are the most important. Yes. Well, we're real close. Yeah. We are real close. And where are the police? What are they doing? Nothing. Like, why is there no Amber Alert? She has clearly been abducted. She did not run away with nothing. Yeah. That's not what kids do. So scary. I can't imagine what you guys are going through. I see someone next to you. Um, Just hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. And uh, we'll do our best to put this out. And we'll follow up with you. And anything that uh, you want out there to share. Um, yeah. You reach out to us. We'll put, we'll send the message out ourselves. And uh, if, if we can get if we can get some somebody with a, a human tracking dog that has been trained, military, whatever. If we can get someone like that to volunteer their time, I don't have a lot of money, but I'll give them whatever I got. I'm sure somebody would do it as a volunteer, not worried about money. The urgency is to get your daughter home. Uh, Josh said in the comments. Right. I am going to message K9. Right. I'll message her with the details of what I know about this case and just say, is there any possibility you could help this family? You can, if you get in touch with JLR, he could probably pass you on. The details that you need to get in touch with this family. You know what I mean? So, I'll message it as soon as we come off this live. <coughs> Give me a moment. Here, does anyone have the license plate to Timothy's Jeep? Do you know the license plate? I do not. I have not seen the Jeep, um, but property records are are public, so it wasn't hard to search and, and see the things that he owned. We showed a photo of Timothy. Uh, can you just describe, like, how tall do you think he is? How much he weighs? Um, He's around six foot. He wears glasses. Usually has a long, um, a long beard. Uh, he has diabetes, so his legs are usually in compression socks because they're black. Um, he's about 250, 300 pounds. Gotcha. Red, red, red colored beard, probably graying now. Um, he's 40, he's 40. No, no hair on his head. No hair. Does he wear hats or does he just go bald like? Like the photo we have here, like, do you, does he wear out? Yeah, like, like that. That's what I've always seen him look like. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, we well, we we'll, we got his image out there, so definitely everyone in Arkansas is on notice now. And hopefully, yeah, some, I mean, somebody, I'm not somebody, trying to, I'm not trying to drag someone's name to the dirt. He has done this before, and he got convicted gotcha. for something already that had to do with my daughter. So obviously. I'm gonna point my finger at you. Prove and me the wrong. Sheriff put him out. The sheriff put his name out there too. Yes, absolutely. They said, "Well, we'll look up. We'll look up what happened." A reception came off a little bit. Person of interest. My my. Yeah. They 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 inputted the the person of interest after what they looked up from the past. Her father did not post. That man's photo until after Garland County Sheriff's Office put his name out as a person of interest. There's no yeah. defamation. There's no slander. It's facts. This right. man is a person of interest because he touched my daughter and groomed my daughter before. Well, he's so my take on it is that he is 
he thinks that he can get away with it because he's gotten away with it before. And, yeah. you know, he, so um, I'm sorry if you said this earlier and if I missed it or whatever, but um, do you know if the police went to his house in, in Malvern and searched it? Because all, that's what all I know is that, that the, the woman said that they came out there and cleared him. Yet Garland County has not changed their BOLO information, updated anything saying he'd been cleared or he, his property had been searched. When I talked to that police officer, he did not see anything that indicated a search had been done or that he had been spoken to. Yeah. Well, and, I, I, mean, I don't know how right. we have to get how we have to get an Amber Alert issued, but I feel like whoever's listening, if you're the person that can make that happen, make our phones go off. Find my daughter. Yeah. Please. Yeah. yeah this considering is the circumstances about him convicted before what he did, I mean, why wouldn't there be an Amber Alert out like instantly? I mean, it's almost like, hello. That, that's exactly how we feel like we don't we do not understand why this is being treated like oh she just she just skipped off i mean that's that's not what happened yeah i mean we see that though a lot unfortunately with cases where they consider it a runaway um a lot of times they don't get as much um focus and resources um but I think in this case, it's it's very clear that this man is involved and he's been he's done these things before. So I don't see why in the world the sheriff's department or whoever wouldn't put out an Amber Alert. And we're going to make sure and ask them that, aren't we, Jonathan? Yes. And uh, have you considered <laughs> contacting the state police? Of uh, Arkansas? They have been contacted uh, they, they, earlier today. They got they did get contacted. So far, we still haven't haven't had our phones go off, um, but we are hoping and praying that that it happens real soon. We are too. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else you would like to uh, add, Brittany? That you want to get out there? Not, not at the moment. Gotcha. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stay in touch. Us, keep us informed, and um, if if anything happens or changes, or you get any new information, let me know. Um, and if, so we, you, if you have anybody that contacts you and, and wants to organize a search search parties and, and, and grid searches or or dogs, you know, scent tracking, please do not hesitate to give them my information. Okay, we'll do. we will. Thank you for the time. We're we're praying for you and we're praying for. Right. Oh dear, I can't believe they. This bloke has been charged uh, with touching her daughter before. Law enforcement there said his name first of all, not the parents, not the family, law enforcement. So just because she climbed out of a bathroom window, and rang off into the woods does not mean she's a runaway. Not when this person has been grooming her, constantly messaging her, right? Getting her to getting her out the house during the night and bringing her, getting her back before the parents wake up. This has been going on for years. This needs to be an amber alert because this is worrying me. Because if normally he'd bring her back the same night, well, the same night, but early hours in the, the next morning, early hours, why? Why hasn't he brought her back this time? Why? Has something gone wrong? And is that why they can't find him? Because he's gone into hiding. I'm hoping I'm wrong with my thoughts, but it's, you know what I mean, it's not right. The police have got to start acting now in the USA. 
I say that about the USA police, but our police are just as bad. You know what I mean? you got some good police. Some areas have got some good police who are on it straight away. Other areas of the UK, you got police who, oh, it's just another one away. You know what I mean? And they don't want to know. So it all depends where you live, whether you got a good police force or a crappy police force. At the moment, at the moment, we all in the UK have got a two-tier police force. Right? So I am going to get in touch with the K9 captain and get her to get in touch with JLR for the information on this for, for this family. Because I'm sure she could help. Because uh, one dog's called Gator and one dog is called Ara. Armed, ready for attack. Love that name. Right, so I will message her. I'll send her a message on Twitter. And ask her to get in touch with JLR. Anyway, it is can you, 10 o'clock. Oh, I thought this would be going on longer. <laughs> Right, it's coming up to 10 o'clock. I have got to take my medicine. You're welcome, Astro. You're welcome. And thank you for being here tonight. And thank you for those who are here and sitting in the bushes. If you like what you've heard, please give this video a like. And please, 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 please share it. Get this little girl's picture. Hold on. Let's see if I can get the picture up. Get this little girl's picture everywhere. She needs to be found. She could be in Mississippi. Did you hear them say? Yeah. So please, if you're watching this video on replay, please share it everywhere onto your Facebook pages, onto your Instagram, onto your Twitter. Instagram now have another section to it. Which is called, um, what's it called? Threads, which I'm also on that. So what I'll do, I'll make a short video from this one, from this live, and I'll put it on TikTok and Instagram, and then I'll put also onto Threads, and then I'll put, this will automatically, this is automatically now going on to Twitter itself because I'm live streaming on Twitter. So, and I've also got the um, Discord. There was another one and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> so, I can't log into that one at the moment because I can't remember what it was. <laughs> anyway, so... I'll get it as far as I can. If I could get onto my Facebook, I'll put it all over my Facebook page that I have for this group, for my page, from this channel. So please, if you can help. If you feel you can't help physically, you can help by getting a picture out there. That's all we're asking. Just share her picture. Share her name. Get it out there everywhere, across the whole of the USA. We need, it's a bit like Sebastian, there's going to be states that will not, you know, even if it was an amber alert, there's going to be part, small little, small little towns and whatever that will not know about this young girl. We need her name out there, we need her picture out there. Right? We need her home. And we need that vital piece of SHIT. Locked up. We need his wife locked up. And we need to get his daughter to talk. And we need his other two children, depending on their age, checked into. Because we don't know if any harm's come to them either over the years. So... I um, will leave you all here, leave you and love you all. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for being in chat. 
Um, as I said, I credit this to JLR. He was the one who got the interview. And I will be back tomorrow. Usual time, 8 p.m. Um, I will try and do a video of what I was talking about earlier. About what happened in the UK. But at the moment, it's a bit of a touchy subject. So I can do the video, but if I release it on YouTube or on Twitter, I could get locked up. If I put it on Facebook, I could get locked up. So I might just do the video and put it in private for now, unlisted or whatever. And then when I feel it's safe to put out there, I will. But at the moment, it's a very touchy subject at the moment to do anything like that in the UK. Oh, my God. They've just arrested one guy over in flipping Pakistan for putting out, starting off the... He put out this rumour on Facebook or Twitter or something like that, and it started a flipping riot. So they've just had this guy in Pakistan, the UK have just had this guy in Pakistan arrested. So I'm only in Scotland, I'm only across the border from them so they can still get to me. So anyway, thank you for all being here. Please, if you haven't already and you're watching on replay, please subscribe. It does help build my channel up. Uh, please give this video a like. It does help, even though you get some YouTubers saying, uh, likes don't help, right? And then you got other YouTubers saying likes. The likes do help build your channel up, and then you got likes don't help you build, right? You either give it a like or you don't. But please, I say, give me a like. It puts a smile on my face when I see the likes, and it puts a smile on my face even more when I see someone subscribe to my channel because it says I'm doing something good. I'm doing something right. Okay, so thank you for all, all of you for being here, and I will be back tomorrow at 8pm. Till then, good night, stay safe.